evil must be punished. Where was I on 9-11? Um, oh, geez. Uh, I don't really remember where I was on 9-11. I may have been right here at the house, for all I know. Um, I'll never forget the planes hitting the buildings. I'll never forget how I felt. Um, I knew immediately that it was an attack because planes aren't allowed to legally fly that low over the, over the city limits. So that right there was my first clue that it was an obvious attack. Okay, now why the numbskulls in Washington, D.C. couldn't figure that out, I have no idea. But see, commercial flights ain't allowed to fly that low over, over a populated area, okay? And your airports are set up in such a way to where that they're not close by any, uh, uh, you know, tall buildings like that. So, no, I knew almost immediately it was an attack of some kind. Uh, I don't know why nobody else could figure that out, and I could, but, um, oh well, there you go. But, uh, no, I don't remember where I was, man, I really don't. I remember the results, I remember how I felt and all that stuff, but, uh, if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say I was right here at the house. The reason I don't remember, I guess, is because there has just been so much stuff in my mind lately, um, with other things that... I don't really remember, man. I really don't. But I think I was right here at the house. I may, I may have been mom's. Come to think of it, dad was still alive back then, so I may have been over, over at mom's. Cause uh, dad was still alive, and I was probably enjoying uh, his company. So, uh, but no, I, I don't remember where I was, man. Sorry. I uh, wish I did. I remember the impact, though. I remember the results. I remember the the news and the pictures and stuff. And how I felt, obviously. Mm. Ugh, pardon me. But, um, I know I was ready to nuke Mecca and Medina right then. Soon as soon as the news come on and said that they had all been that, that most of the terrorists had been identified as Saudi Arabian nationals, I'm like, well, fuck, let's nuke Saudi Arabia and, and get it over with. <laughs> well, how was I to know that later on we would come up with this mythical Al Qaeda, which doesn't even fucking exist, and and a brotherhood, a Muslim brotherhood or some shit like that, that doesn't exist either. Uh, Osama bin Laden's group is known as the Mujahideen people, okay, and then an offshoot of that is also known as the Taliban, okay. The uh, Muslim Brotherhood and Al-Qaeda, completely and totally made up, okay, they're not real. Uh, completely and totally made up, completely fictitious. Os like I said, Osama's people are the Mujahideen or the Taliban. Uh, sometimes as they're known, but uh, Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, it's, uh, there might be a there might be a, a black group called the Muslim Brotherhood or something here in America, but Middle Eastern, nah. no, uh, no, don't exist. As far as I know, don't exist. Al Qaeda, completely made up, pulled pulled out of somebody's ass in the Bush administration because it it doesn't exist. Didn't exist. Prior to 9/11, there was no talk of anything called Al Qaeda. Just prior to 9/11, it was either Mujahideen or Taliban because that's what Osama was related to. That's what Osama was involved in. So no, that that Al Qaeda term is completely made up. But uh, any anywho, Osama didn't do it any damn way. It was the Saudis that did it, so it doesn't really fucking matter. And when it first happened, Osama came out and said, "Hey, man, I didn't do it. I didn't do it." Uh, so, you know, of course, then later on they got this plump, black-looking dude to put on a beard and a turban and go in there and act like Osama, saying, I did it, I did it. <laughs> he didn't look a damn thing like Osama. He was too plump in the face. His skin was too damn dark. He was almost he was almost Ethiopian, man. And I'm like, this ain't fucking Osama. Is anybody going to buy this shit? Yeah, well, unfortunately, most Americans bought it. <laughs> but no, Osama didn't attack us, man. It was Saudi Arabia. 
Now, whether Saudi Arabia attacked us genuinely or not, well, that's up for debate. Uh, you want to say the government had a hand in there? Fine and dandy. But it doesn't matter to me. But uh, uh, Saudi Arabia's hands are definitely implicated. And we should have nuked uh, Mecca and Medina. That would have ended it. But uh, no, no, haven't dropped a single bomb on Saudi Arabia, even though they attacked us on 9-11. Absolutely fucking amazing to me. But, oh well. You know, what, what can you say or do? But anywho, uh, no, I don't remember exactly where I was, man. Sorry. <laughs>